I'm gonna show you how to brew kava with our traditional kava strainer bag. So what you'll be using is uh, two quarts and about two ounces of uh, kava tonga. So here we have about two quarts. You're gonna pour this into one of your bowls, so you're gonna need two bowl mixing bowls. And then here in your other mixing bowl, you'll throw your two ounces of kava into the, bowl, into the strainer bag. Yeah, this is our traditional kava strainer bag. So this is how you would make it if you only had this and not our uh, pro kava strainer bag. With our pro kava strainer bag, we make it a little bit different. But here, so now you have the, the kava, two ounces of kava in the kava strainer bag like that. You're gonna dip, tie this closed like that. Then you're gonna wanna wrap this just for extra security right here. Then, what we're gonna do, this is like washing clothes. So we're gonna start here and then knead out there. So we're gonna soak like this to get that kava all nice and soaked up right here. Don't be afraid to be aggressive on this. The strainer bag is tough nylon, it can take it. So just like washing clothes, then we're gonna go into this strainer bag like that. So you gotta think about brewing kava is like washing clothes. Imagine you have uh, dirty clothes with oil and dirt stuck to it. You gotta, you wanna get that oil off, um, but you don't want, and the dirt off, but you wanna contain the dirt. You want the oil, the oil is what you're after not the dirt. And that's what kawalactones are. Just, kawalactones are uh, uh, fat soluble, not water soluble uh, lactose that's stuck to the root. And the whole brewing process is kneading the kawalactones off the root while containing the root remnants in your family. Soaking up oh, the cover here and then eating it out in the second bag. And again, we're brewing Kavafied Kava Tonga. It's a very heavy and euphoric kava. Don't be afraid to get aggressive with this bag. You can take a beat in. And we're using warm water. Um, to make the, the two quarts, we use about 1.5 quarts of uh, room temperature water, and then we added half a quart of boiling water to get a nice uh, warm water that's not too hot but it's, uh, warm enough to soften the root up to get the, the kavalakas off a lot easier. So, we'll sit it down. That up down there. Squeeze it out. There you go. Now, a good way to, to 
good way to check how well you kneaded that is to do a second wash. Now, kava's ready. Now we'll get the pro strainer bag right here. Get that all set out like that. And then we're going to dump this for a final sieve. Just like that. Again, kava settles, so you're gonna wanna be nice and careful there. Second one on here. 